Hey YouTube, how you doing? I'm gonna start the basement bathroom installation project with this photo here. Um, I started this project over two years ago um, and then haven't really done anything with it in two years, but I did some framing, uh, ran some hot and cold water lines uh, out to the garage, and then um, had to do some mechanical duct work roughed in some electrical so i did have a little bit of this work already kind of prepped and ready to go uh, before i made this video but um i just want to start with um you know this picture and ripping out that old window well there and as you can see in the rest of the video um kind of where i go from here i uh, also want to apologize for kind of the bad editing and you know cutoffs that you might see in the video i'm just making this on my phone that's that's the only uh resource i have right now for making any videos time to rip out this old window not exactly easy getting out this old window well uh, i had to use my angle grinder and and kind of cut the frame in a bunch of different spots and a cold chisel and also a concrete blade on the angle grinder and uh, it took a while and a lot of pounding and banging to get this window out. Putting the mortar in on one side, it was snowing, um, and it's still snowing today. It's been a few weeks since I put this window in, but I'll mortar the outside later on. All right, now it's time to cut up the floor and um, bust it up. I did use my own DeWalt circular saw with a cement blade, um, watered the blade with water that made it, um, that controlled a lot of the dust and then also followed along with the shot vac. Um, it's definitely easier to have two people, someone uh, with water and a shot vac, one person running the saw. Is this OSHA approved? This is on the other side of the wall from the bathroom, future bathroom. This is the old lift station, um, and then obviously you can see the washer and dryer are usually tied up against the foundation. I have them pulled off the wall so I can do some cutting and a slop sink in the middle. Also wanted to add a drain for the condensate for the furnace, the overflow for the water softener, and the uh, pressure relief valve for the hot water heater, which is the copper line. Just wanted to put in a floor drain and then have the floor drain go into the new tank let the fun begin i do not have a picture of me running a jackhammer but um i did bust this up with a jackhammer uh still a lot of work carrying concrete outside and buckets moving dirt uh digging a, a lot bigger hole for the uh, 41 gallon liberty p uh 72 i believe Unfortunately, where I cut up the floor at is where my drain tile was for the um, in the interior concrete floor for the house. So I did have to do some undercutting and push the drain tile underneath the concrete and so I could have the trench for my existing um, or for my new plumbing. Just starting the process of roughing in for the slop sink and heading from the lift station towards the bathroom that's my father-in-law helping me pretty much all roughed in except for the tub shower lots of fun uh, working with the vents and getting the sewage lift station all connected back together to the old plumbing tree here guys girls if if you've never seen one of these before, it's called the Quiet Valve. There's a couple different brands out there. Magic Valve, Camp Valve, Zoller makes one. They're all about the same. Um, the old existing check valve um, would slam the pipe after the pump kicks on or when the pump kicks off. And this valve is very quiet. Definitely five stars. Bought it on Amazon, $30.00. Um, would highly recommend putting one of these on and that will reduce the pressure of the water hammer uh, on your piping Just roughing in the uh, floor drain Starting to put up a few more two by fours um, Just kind of making room for 
um, you know, kind of finishing the plumbing. Hey, just working on finishing up the rough end plumbing for the basement, um, bathroom addition down here. Uh, right now, just kind of started recording before I was taking pictures, uh, running a two inch vent. Um, gonna have a shower tub down there on the end. Gotta finish the P-trap and installation for that. Gonna have a toilet here, two inch vent, vanity here, the wall wash machine mechanical room will be over here and we have a rough in for a slop sink and also the new sewage uh, lift station which is 41 gallon uh, liberty sewage pump got the quiet valve there um, had to tie in a lot of the uh, vent and uh, the sanitary back into the septic system that was last weekend that was a lot of work Obviously had to cut up the floor previous you saw that earlier in the video, but just kind of starting a video on this so Hey everybody, how you doing? I hope you're liking the video so far um, Maybe you learned something maybe you didn't I know I've learned a lot working on this uh, uh, Basement bathroom installation started it over two years ago uh, Just kind of getting a little bit of time to start working on it again tearing up the floor roughing in the plumbing uh, framing up some walls, replacing uh, an old window well right over here, put in a glass uh, block window, going to have to do some electrical, some more plumbing, um, insulation, drywall, framing, uh, you name it, flooring, uh, still got a lot to go, so plenty of uh, material to cover later on in the video, I uh, hope you like what you've seen so, uh, so far, thanks. Hey everybody, uh, just got the two inch vent finally installed. Um, it's going up and over, ties into the whole house vent. Just another thing uh, to check off. Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm just jumping in on this video here. You saw all the work I did earlier in this video. It, it may be a two part video, a three part video, a one part video. All I know is I've been working down here. Um, you know, started it over two years ago, still working on it now there was a two-year gap i haven't been working on it for two years but it's been a lot of work a lot of mechanical stuff in the ceiling that you know i really didn't even put on the video um i just hope i cut this floor up for the tub and shower in the right spot um obviously i don't want to get a jackhammer i don't want to bust any more concrete up i don't feel like carrying any dirt outside at this point it's snowing outside it's cold um i just hope i cut up the floor in the right spot the first time I'm just down here trying to make America great again, guys. Hey guys, look what we found. Found a old pack of cigarettes from 37 years ago when this house was built, 1983. Um, I think it says Winston. I don't believe that's Marlboro, but uh, you never know what you're gonna find. Pretty cool. Just dry fit in the tub. Checking to see if the drain's even close. Gluing up the P-trap, sanitary tee, and the drain shoe. Decided to reinforce the plumbing with some re-rod I pounded in uh, next to it. Just so I'm setting the tub, I'm not banging things around and putting a lot of pressure on a newly uh, glued fitting. But uh, still gives me a little bit of adjustment because I didn't concrete around the whole thing.
tubs in. Mixed up a bag of concrete for underneath the tub. Uh, that was in the instructions. Tubs in, got that set into place. Looks like uh, the way things are going, I better go pick up some concrete. Guys, just mixing up some concrete for the floor. Finally getting some progress done on the basement bathroom. Got the tub in and the drain this morning. A little bit of concrete last night so I could set it. Now just mixing up some more. Quick update regarding that mortar hole. That would work really good in a wheelbarrow. Not so much in a five gallon bucket, but that's all I had laying around. I had to go pick up more concrete, so I bought a mixing paddle that you normally use for drywall mud. Um, which I'll be able to use it for drywall mud, but also for mixing concrete. This worked 10 times better. Uh, got all the concrete installed, still troweling it out, letting it uh, bleed its water to the surface. But, um, you know, by the minute, you know, I'm already feeling better. A lot of weight's been lifted off my shoulders getting it this far. Hey YouTube, fun day today, um, carrying concrete down here, mixing up concrete, getting the uh, tub installed, need to still install the uh, overflow uh, drain, um, got the tub in, there's a bag of concrete underneath the tub, that's what the instructions said, that holds the base, uh, keeps it nice and firm with people stepping in it over the years, um, filled in the um, the long hole in the floor, um, both sides of the wall, it's all done. Did, did learn something. Uh, the mortar hoe did not work that good. Um, went out and bought a mixing paddle. Drains over there. And uh, obviously I'm super stoked that I, a lot of the hard work is done. Still a lot more work to do, but I am glad that's behind me. Hey YouTube, I'm going to end part one um, right here. Stay tuned for part two and part three, or however many parts this uh, project takes me.